but if you were to go to a library at the end of the 1300s, or through the 1400s, you would probably find a book that was way more popular than those titles we still read, a book that purported to be a description of the world, a guide the traveling in distant lands of B.C. area and almanac of everything that was just off the horizon. I'm not talking about Marco Polo, no, I'm talking about something far far weirder, and far far less tethered to reality, a volume of medieval fantasy masquerading as a field guide called The Travels of Sir John Mandeville, supposedly the titular knight set out from England in the 1330s and embarked on a journey that would take him to the Middle East, Africa and Asia, though as it will become apparent, not a Middle East, not in Africa and not in Asia that we would recognize here in reality. Mandeville spoke is not really about actually real foreign lands, it's about what Europeans thought was just outside the bounds of their civilizations, it's about what's beyond that mountain range that marks the borders of the lands you know, it's about what medieval people thought the foreign looks like, and all of it is mysterious, alluring and intimidating, unknown.